Harper here and welcome to another video. So obviously right now I am not on Animal Jam and as the title of the video is showing, I am not doing an Animal Jam video today. Today I am showing you all of my pets. Because over on Instagram, even though it is for my YouTube channel, I basically just post pictures of my pets. They're all just so adorable. And you guys seem to really, really enjoy when I do post those. So I decided today, instead of doing an Animal Gym video, I'm going to post a video all about my pets. So yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get on into it. So that kitty cat you see right down there, the all black one, that's very fluffy. His name is Sophie. Now the reason his name is Sophie is when he was first born, we thought he was a girl. So yeah, we didn't end up changing the name because he actually learned his name. He comes when he's called. Like, literally. Anyway, he is one of Fifi's lovely kittens, even though he's no longer a kitten. He is eight years old, just like the rest of them. And he loves to be outside. Like, even though he's fluffy and it's summertime, he loves being outside, like with a burning passion. Like, you, you just can't stop this cat. He also likes to kill other animals, such as birds and mice. And we frequently see those on our doorstep, which isn't it's it's not the greatest but it happens you know this cat right here is oliver aka ollie hi ollie he's like passed out of sleep right now but anyway oliver is also one of fifi's kittens so that makes him as well eight years old he's obviously sophie's sibling and he likes to be outside but he also likes to be outside near the house like as you can see this is our house right here and he's just on the porch he never really ventures that far. He just kind of likes sitting on the porch and lounging as you see him doing right now. This is our outdoor area for our cats, which includes some water, some food, and a bunch of places for them to sleep in. Though I guess they prefer sleeping literally right there. I, I don't know why. It's just we have some comfy beds, some nice shelter, whatever but they prefer sleeping right there. Anyway, this spot is used for our cats when they don't really want to come back inside. They can just have a little pit stop, get some food, get some water, and go on their way again. If it starts to rain, we obviously have the shelter above us. If it's a nice summer day and they just want to lounge, they can sleep in these little beds we have or one of those things, even though they never sleep in one of those things, even though we paid like $30 for that thing. They, they never do, which is great, you know. Instead, they just they sleep here because why not, you know? Anyway, he looks like a T-Rex right now. Like, look at his little arms. Hello, Oliver. Earth to Oliver. Oh, he moved. That was really cute. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Did you have a nice nap? This is Flapjack. He is also one of Fifi's kittens, so that makes him eight years old as well. He likes to stay inside mostly, but he comes outside every once in a while just to chill on the porch, as a lot of our cats like to do. But some of them are more outdoor cats than indoor cats, and some of them are more indoor than outdoor. And some are just kind of an equal mix. But anyway, he's a beautiful boy, aren't you, Flapjack? He is also probably the friendliest cat. Hi, Kylo. Hi, what's the matter? What? Okay, I, I guess he just like interrupted Flapjack's one-on-one, -on -one, but you know what? Oh well. So Flapjack is probably one of the friendlier cats we have. Hi, you're very friendly. I mean, all of our cats are friendly, but he is so lovable. The second you let him inside, he'll be all over you. He'll be jumping up on you, trying to get you to love on him. He's a very, very friendly cat and very nice. He's just also very fat. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's Flapjack. And I guess we're going to move on to Kylo now since Kylo really, really wants to uh, to be in the video. So we're just gonna sh boop. We're over to Kylo now. So Kylo is not actually one of Fifi's kittens and we don't really know how old he is. The vet estimates he's around three or four years old, but they could be wrong. He could be older or younger. We really, we just don't know. Anyway, oh, where, where are you walking to, sir? You're gonna jump up there? You look very determined. So Kylo was a stray cat that I started feeding about a year ago. I fed him like three or four times. I saw him like three or four times. But after that, he just kind of disappeared for like an entire year. 
fast forward to about March of this year and he starts coming around again. So I start feeding him again and honestly I take pity on all the stray cats here because there are foxes and coyotes here and most stray cats don't live that long if they don't have a home. Just because of fleas and ticks and all of these diseases that they can contract. Eventually one day Kylo came back with a limp in his leg and I was very concerned because I knew that we have coyotes, I know that we have foxes, and I was kind of worried that he wouldn't come back if I let him go again. Oh, okay, that's that's not a glamour shot. Let's look at Flapjack for a second. Anyway, I put Kylo um, in the carrier, brought him down to the shed, because I my parents weren't home, and I didn't know what to do, because I didn't think they wanted another cat in the house, but I was like, I can't just leave him be, so I put him in the shed. And that lasted for about 30 minutes before I was texting my dad furiously. I was like, what do I do, what do I do? And he was actually at my brother's musical. So he had his phone silenced until like intermission. So I was freaking out for like 30 minutes and then my dad texts back and he's like, just bring him in your room and we'll figure it out soon. We get to the vet on Tuesday after me freaking out about how we need a closer appointment and my parents are like, we can't, they're literally all booked. We can't do anything. We get there on Tuesday and we find out that it was an infection on his foot that caused it. He was either running and he ran into a thorn or something, but either way the cut on his foot got infected. And now, let me tell you why this was so important. Oh, that was a really cute yawn. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? I'm talking about you, sir. The reason it's so important that you know this was an infection was because later that day at the vet, we also found out he has a disease called FIV, which is feline immunodeficiency virus. He'll have it all his life and there's no cure for it. It basically lowers his immune system a lot. So things like infections, they can kill him. The vet actually told me if we hadn't caught this and he hadn't been brought in, the infection likely would have spread to the rest of his body and he would have died. So basically, I saved Kylo's life that day and that makes me very happy because he's a very, very good boy. Huh, Kylo? So yeah, that's, that's the story of Kylo. That's how we got this kitty cat and how he came to live in our house. Now Kylo is actually short for Kylo Ren named after the Star Wars character. He likes to hang outside for like five minutes at a time and then he'll come back in and he'll go out and he'll come back in and he'll go out and he'll come back in. He really doesn't like being outside for that long. It's like he realized when he came into this house, wow, this is like an amazing life. I don't have to hunt down my food anymore. I'm gonna stay here forever. Dun, da 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 dun, da da dun, dun. Hi Fifi. So this is Fifi. She is the mother of 10 kittens. She had two separate litters, one of six and one of four. In her first litter, she had six kittens and we kept five of those six and we gave one away to my mother's best friend. And her second litter is actually kind of a funny story. The day she was set to get spayed, we made sure to tell everyone in the house, do not let this cat outside. She's getting spayed today. We're not having any more kittens, okay? And unfortunately for us, I guess my dad forgot about that little rule and he let her outside. And also unfortunately for us, um, the, the neighbor's cat was outside and he was not neutered. And well, you can imagine what happened. And she had another litter of four kittens. This time they were given away to, two of them went to my grandmother one of them went to my uncle and one of them went to my aunt. Now the one that went to my aunt was an indoor cat, but she managed to escape and she also had a litter of kittens. And so this little kitty cat right here is actually a grandmother. Like, can you believe that? She's a grandma, your grandma, your grandma kitty. Fifi is usually hanging out here in the driveway, like usually right there. We're not really sure why. She just likes to hang out in this one particular spot. And that's, that's Fifi in a nutshell. We are really not sure how old she is because once again, she was a stray that we found. Um, so she could be nine or 10 or somewhere around there because she was having a litter of kittens when we found her. And those kittens are now eight. And so she must've been like at least a year old to have those kittens. So she's at least nine at most, like probably 10 or 11. So this is Muffin. She is one of Fifi's kittens and she likes to be inside equally as she does outside but she doesn't like people all that much. She's very, very shy. As you can tell, she's just like walking away from me right now. Anyway, I hear bees buzzing near me right now, so I'm gonna make this quick. She was one of Fifi's kittens. She's very shy. She likes inside and outside kind of equally. She's shy of people mostly, unless she's inside and it's like nighttime, then she wants to cuddle with you. As you can see, she is a calico. She keeps running away from me. She doesn't want me to be around her right now. 
So I'm just going to leave her be, but she's a beautiful little lady, aren't you? Why are you hiding behind a rusted folded chair? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to leave her alone now because she seems aggravated. Here is the newest addition to our family who is playing with a blue rubber glove. Where did you even find that? Where did you even get that, Caspian? This is little Caspian. Look at how adorable he is. I love him with all my heart. He is a Seal Point Ragdoll born May 3rd, 2017. And he's going to be growing into a real big boy, huh, Caspian? I love him a lot. Why are you playing with a rubber glove? W why? And now you're playing with a speck of dirt? Oh, okay. Anyway, we're moving on to Buttercup now, which is our other kitten. She was never meant to stay at our house. She came here uh, as an anniversary present from my brother to his girlfriend. And then my brother's girlfriend couldn't keep her. So now she's back here. Long story short, if you have an anniversary with someone, a kitten probably isn't the best present. I literally love watching these two play. It's adorable. Since they're both kittens, they're both super hyper, and they just balance each other out. It's great. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. This is just the cutest thing. <laughs> Hi, Juice. Hello. Okay, so this is Orange Juice, and she is our lovely orange kitty cat. She is 15 years old, so she's a very old lady. She loves to meow, and uh, we rescued her in 2004 when she was two years old, huh? Yeah, we did. This is lovely Bandit. Now, Bandit is, I think, nine years old now. He is the cutest, cutest kitty, huh? The cutest kitty. He looks just like Kylo, so whenever I post a picture of him on Instagram, people always get confused, but this is Bandit. He's much more slender. Anyway, we got Bandit after my mom's friend couldn't keep him as a kitten because he was very destructive. He ate all her house plants and tore up the house apparently, but when we got him, he was perfectly fine. He's just a little hyper kitty, huh? Just a hyper kitty, huh? Huh, buddy? Oh, that's really cute. He's just so cute, huh? Are you cute? You are. You're a very cute boy. So last, but certainly not least, is my beautiful boy, Prince. He is a seal point Siamese. He's an only indoor cat, strictly indoor cat. Um, and he's, he's got a, quite a personality, this one. He was born May 23rd, 2015, and he's my little baby. Aren't you? Even though you're already two years old. So this is JC, our one and only guinea pig. We had two, but he, uh, he kind of killed his brother. So now we have one, and this is him. He's very, very black. I couldn't record a video where his cage is because he was so dark, he just blended in and you couldn't see him at all. So now we're in the bathroom, aren't we? Yes, he is a few months old. We got him like in March, I think. I don't know. Anyway, this is him. He's just a normal, average, all black guinea pig. And now we're going to move on to our two lovely doggos. So we have a boy and we have a girl. We have a small and we have an extra small. So let me just go ahead and talk about them. So this is Bosco. He's 11 years old and he has a toy fox terrier. We got him when I was in kindergarten or I think I was going into the first grade at this point and he went blind when he was six years old. So as you can see, if I go up close on his eye, you can kind of see that it's just all clouded over and blue, which is really pretty, but at the same time, he can't see, so it's sad. However, he still navigates around our house just fine because he kind of has like a mental map in his head of where everything is. So at first when he went blind, he was bumping into everything, but now he can walk around the house perfectly fine. So this is Lily, she is six years old and she is a teacup chihuahua. She's very tiny. You're a very tiny lady. This is my hand for comparison. Like this is her head and this is my hand. She's tiny. She's a very small little puppy. You are. You're just very small. Anyway, I don't know what else to say about her. She's just small and tiny and she's adorable. And now we are moving on to animals that live in my room in cages and stuff like that because they're either hamsters or fish or whatever. Over in this tank, we have our fish. Now, the one that's darting back and forth, that is Blub. He is a comet goldfish. If you can just stay still for a second, I'd like to get a shot of you, but no, you're just moving too fast. 
The reason they're called comet goldfish is because they kind of shoot across the tank like comets, as you can see he, what he's doing right now. He really wants to be fed, which is why he's doing that. Back there is another comet goldfish. I named him Special. Uh, the reason why his name is Special is because these two, these two comet goldfish, they were actually supposed to be feeder fish, and they were on a 35 cent special. So uh, that one, little blub over there, was originally gonna be named 35 and him special, but I kind of just switched his name to Blub because I really like the generic fish names. And this little guy right here is Bubbles. He's nine years old. Meanwhile, these two comets I have are like a year and a half. So obviously they're all pretty hungry right now, which means I'm gonna go ahead and feed them. So we're gonna do that right now. So the reason Liba is in a different tank than the others is because she is a beta fish, which is a fighting fish. They don't really get along with other fish. And even if they do, I'm not going to take chances. And so she is in her own little separate tank. She's really showing off her colors right now. So Liba was originally a koi beta fish, which means she was orange and white and black. And obviously she is no longer orange, white, and black. She is kind of red and blue. She looks like the American flag, honestly. When I got her, she had no blue whatsoever, and now she is like turning blue. So uh yeah that's pretty cool i guess so this is zeus he is my robber vorsky dwarf hamster and as you can see from his coloring he is a white face or also known as a husky robber vorsky dwarf hamster anyways guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video which will actually be animal jam related goodbye